Oh man, what is going on, man? It's me, it's me, it's Thomas, it's Thomas to the T. Once again, man, coming at you again with another video. And uh, yeah, let's get right, let's get right back into it, man. Yeah. What are we gonna be talking about? Well, obviously. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm excited, and I'm sad. I'm sad because there's no college football. There's nothing to watch on TV. Yeah, we got the, you know, NCAA tournament going on. We got the NBA. You know, a nice filler baseball seasons. I don't care. All I care about is college football, man. You know, NFL draft is on the brink, but nobody cares about the draft because it looks like we're not going to have an NFL season. Whatever, man. College football is months, months away. What am I going to do? I'm going crazy. Luckily, we have spring football. And spring football is just around the corner for West Virginia. And uh, I think practice, practice starts uh, next Monday, I believe, March 28th. So we, let's time, it's time to get it in, West Virginia. It's time to get it in, Mountaineers. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Monday, we, we getting it in, man. It's going to be a special year. It's going to be a special year. I truly believe. I'm not being a homer. I mean, the Big East, as we all know, is not really, you know, a tough conference. And there's a lot of a lot of talent left to, you know, go play in the NFL, you know? So I, West Virginia, if, if West Virginia is not the team uh, to beat in, in the Big East in 2011, then I don't know who is. And again, I'm not being a homer. I'm being real. West Virginia has the most talented team uh, coming into the to the Big East for uh, 2011. Um, but I mean, I mean, you look at a team like Louisville and you know what what they were able to uh, bring in for, with their recruiting class and Charlie Strong. Wow, you know, big ups to Louisville. They're they're on the come up. Look out for them. But anyway, man, let's get into these spring storylines, man. I'm gonna answer. These are some of the questions that I'm, you know, thinking that's concerning the program right now. And I'm going to talk about them or whatnot. Okay, first and foremost, before we get into that Dana Holgerson, the coach situation, because I know that's the big, you know, that's the big storyline with West Virginia. Dana Holgerson coming in and, you know, uh, things are supposed to be awkward because, you know, Bill Stewart is going to be in, a, you know, that lame duck position, and, you know, basically he's he has no real say he's not the real coach or whatever man and before we get into all of that this is who this is what we need to be concerned about is geno smith healthy first and foremost because dana hogerson and bill stewart aren't the ones that's going to be you know dinking and dunking the ball out there it's geno smith so is he healthy well from the horse's mouth from geno smith himself he said he is he's good to go He's uh, cleared to go. Um, he said the doctor said he's, you know, cleared to participate in, you know, spring practices. That's that's about, you know, you know, that's about to commence. And it's good news. I mean, basically what I got from his interviews and, you know, the other coaches and players is that he's going to be able to participate in, you know, more, more spring, you know, practices this year than he did last year. Because as we all know, Mountaineer fans, Gio Smith, didn't participate hardly in any spring practices last year. Uh, those duties went to Coley White, and Coley White was the you know the quarterback for the spring game, and he did all the drills. So um, this year, it looks like Geno Smith is going to be able to participate somewhat in uh, in the spring spring ball, which is good, especially considering you know Dana Hogerson coming in. So hopefully, Geno Smith is good enough to you know get it in and now we're going to move into Dana Dana Hogerson what's the you know is Dana Hogerson uh how is Dana Hogerson gonna uh, fit in uh, is it gonna be too weird man stop worrying stop worrying yes he's gonna fit in you know why because Bill Stewart that's why if this was any other college if this was any other university in America then it, it would be weird. It would be awkward. But you know what? But since Bill Stewart is at West Virginia, I have nothing to worry about. Bill Stewart is the nicest man in 
all of America. I remember watching, you know, some West Virginia games and the ESPN commentators would say, you're not going to find, uh, you know, uh, a nicer coach in America than you are with Bill Stewart. He's so nice. He's, you know, easy to get along with. I have, I have no worry with Bill Stewart being the head coach. I mean, with Bill Stewart being in the position that he's in, no, no worries in the world. He loves West Virginia, and he's going to do, you know, all things necessary to make sure that this transition from him to Dana Hogerson will be smooth. And I think it's nothing to worry about. Next question: Is Dana? What about Dana? Okay, so Dana, what about Dana Hogerson? Dana Hogerson in the situation with Bill Stewart, is that going to work? Okay. What about his offense that he's bringing in? Is it going to succeed? Answer? Duh. Yeah, it's going to succeed. I mean, why wouldn't it uh, succeed? Houston, Oklahoma State, and he was on a staff. He was on Mike, Mike Leach's staff at Texas Tech. Every, every each stop that he was at, it was he pioneered the top offices in the country. There's something about Dana Hogerson and his whatever it is and, and his philosophy that just clicks with players. And I have no reason, no doubt that his offense is gonna work, especially when you have Geno Smith, Tavon Austin, Ivan McCartney, Bradley Starks, Sean Austin, Ryan Clark. And you have these young freshmen coming in, Andrew Bowie, Dustin Garrison, and all these other players. It's going to work. I'm not worried about it. We're going to be, West Virginia is going to be putting up crazy numbers. It's going to be exciting. Don't worry about it, man. It's going to work. Uh, what about the offensive line? What about the offensive line? Well, obviously the offensive line wasn't working because the man that was in charge of the offensive unit, offensive line unit was Dave Johnson. And he got fired. So now Dana Hogerson brings in Bill Bettenball or Bill Beatenball, however we even pronounce that man's name. He brings him in from Oklahoma State. Um, Kendall Hunter. Hey, Kendall Hunter is one of the, you know, thousand plus yards, a bunch of touchdowns, and now he's off into the NFL draft. Uh, you know, Justin. Oh my God, what's that dude's name? Whedon. Oh, I can't remember his name. Whedon, the quarterback from Oklahoma State, he put up like 8,000, a million yards. Justin Blackman, he gave, he gave Whedon enough, Brandon Whedon, that's his name, Brandon Whedon. He gave Brandon Whedon enough time to throw the ball to Justin Blackman, and Justin Blackman was a Blitnikoff winner. So, I have no, it's going to work. It's going to, offensive line is going to be, I mean, man, I, I'm not worried. Let's just say that. I'm not worried about the offensive line. I'm not worried. What about the defense? What about the defense? Well, all I got to say is Jeff Castile. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, West Virginia lost. Scooter Berry, Chris Neal, Robert Sands, Brandon Hogan, JT Thomas, Anthony Leonard, Sidney Glover. Yeah, they lost all of that. But you know what? Jeff Castile plus Bruce Irvin plus Julia Miller plus Najee Good plus Keith Tandy plus Terrence Garvin plus who else, man? We're good, man. We're so It's still a solid defense. Like I said, Big East, ain't nothing to worry about. A lot of offensive playmakers are gone from the Big East. Jordan Tobman, Deion Lewis, John Baldwin, Bilal Powell. You know? So there's nothing There's nothing really to worry about, man. Def I think this defense is good enough to shut down whoever the heck they got to play. Um, so, yeah, I think defense is going to be fine. Plus, we got Josh Francis, Big Shaq Roel on the line. Ain't nothing to worry about, man. So, I'm very excited about this this uh, spring camp. Very excited to see um, Tavon and see how he, you know, how he progresses again at the wide receiver position. Uh, very excited to see Gino and Dana Hogerson together. Oh my God. Um, very excited to see Bruce Irvin just straight dominate our offensive lineman. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so, I'm excited, man. Very excited. And we're going to be seeing a lot of this. A lot of this this season, man. You saw with Bruce Irvin, every time he sacked the quarterback, mm, that's all we're going to be seeing, man. I mean, West Virginia, it lacked a lot It lacked a lot of, I know this word gets used a lot, but 
It lacked a lot of swag, swagger. Ooh! Cook, chef, swag, swag. It lacked a lot of that, man. It lacked a lot of that. Um, I mean, come on. Even to a, a, somebody who's not even a West Virginia fan, a West Virginia follower would say, dang, what happened to you guys? You, I know you guys under, you know who, that guy used to put up points like it was nothing. Now you guys are like, you know, at the bottom of the pack when it comes to as far as offensive productivity. Dan Hogers is going to come in. And we're going to light it up. So, yeah, excited. We'll see what happens. Spring camp. Let's go, Mountaineers. Biggies, nothing. LSU, we're going to get that payback, baby. Let's do this.